It was you! It was you! Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tawny and today we are going to look at my personal save file and what I've been up to in it so far. This is my personal save file. Some of these lots that you're seeing on the screen are just from the gallery, some I've built myself, and I do use CC in this, so I don't think I'll ever upload this. However, I would like to make like a full-on save file from scratch and build everything myself and whatever. But in this one, I've basically gotten rid of some families, given makeovers to some, and then especially focused on creating the Sims 2 Pleasant View Sims. And Willow Creek is sort of my take on Pleasant View. I also have some of these condos here in Newcrest, where Don Lothario and the Caliente sisters live. And then we've obviously got Willow Creek. So yeah, we're just gonna jump into the game and see what I've been up to. So we start here in the Langrak household. This is Kaylin's little house that I built. Honestly, it's nothing special. On the inside, it's quite basic. She is a snob, so she gets the board moodlet in here <laughs> quite a lot because the decorations aren't inspired enough for her. This is quite spicy, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Kaylin here, as you can see, has two children. But she's not married, she is not engaged, she's not in a relationship. Basically, she has a son, Jack, and a daughter, Jenna. Jack is fathered by Daniel Pleasant, <laughs> and Jenna is fathered by Don Lothario. Honestly, they're really cute kids. They're absolutely adorable. Jack is so cute, he's very outgoing. And Jenna is quite a um, <laughs> fussy child, but very cute. Basically, Daniel Pleasant found out that Kaylin had cheated on him with Dawn because she was pregnant. However, Kaylin just convinced Daniel to leave Mary Sue for her. Basically, they had a rocky relationship for a while, but now they're back on track. And yeah, but she is still romantic with Dawn. So yeah, that's the Langerak family. Let's move on. So now we're here in the neighboring house from the Langeraks, the Dreamer house. This is what their house looks like from the outside. Again, nothing special. I quite honestly, I quite like having my Sims live in really kind of like normal houses and houses that aren't anything special like I, I do like having my sims live in mansions and stuff but that's like when I've been playing with them for generations like I really like to have like a good amount of time playing in really like regular normal houses but yeah so this is what the house looks like from the inside it's really nice cozy cute and then upstairs you've got a second bathroom darren's office he is in the engineering career which he should be at work right now but he's not for some reason and also he is a painter and yeah this is just like a cute little office area for them darren's off uh, office <laughs> darren's bedroom and then we've got dirk's bedroom and yeah, this is Dirk. And also, now we'll get to the drama. Dirk initially was really involved with Lilith romantically. They even had their first woohoo and stuff. But recently, he's gotten together with Cassandra Goth, which personally, I think Cassandra and him make more sense together in the long run. I think Lilith is exciting to Dirk, but she's a little bit too kind of like, I think she's too rowdy or whatever, like, you know what I mean? Um, and even though Dirk is sort of like, he's this like sporty, almost like a jockey type of guy, honestly, he's a really kind of like a goody two-shoes kind of guy, like, he's really just wanting to do well in life and he doesn't really want to break the rules even though that's exciting for him he doesn't really want to do it so he's been hanging out with cassandra quite a lot they have become quite romantic they had their first kiss 
so we'll see where that storyline goes. They also have this little shed outside where the engineering <laughs> like machine lives. I don't know why everything in The Sims 4 has to be so freaking huge. Like everything is just massive. So I'm like, I just decided to build them a little shed where they can have everything inside it. But yeah, that's basically the Dreamer family. And yeah, let's move on to our neighbors across the street, which any hardcore fans or even non-hardcore fans will know who this is. Alrighty, so here we are at the Broke house. Brandy and Dustin are just stood outside. Um, here she is. Honestly, Brandy Broke is such an interesting sim. I really like her. Her story is always so fun to play. In my save file, I didn't make her pregnant upon starting the, the save, um, but I really want to give Brandy love and I want to have her get married and find someone like a, like a long-term relationship, get married and maybe honestly have another kid with whoever that ends up being. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, she's not pregnant right now. Why is Gita <laughs> so angry? Like, I sort of got in this save file. Everyone is, like, stomping around all the time. It's just mad as hell. Like, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, here we've got Dustin. Dustin is, of course, with Angela. They are happy together. Um, they've got no problems. And honestly, I think they will end up together in after, like, high school and whatever. And then finally here we have Bo. Honestly, what a cutie. Just what a cute sim. Like, is there anything else to say? <laughs> Bo grew up with the gloomy tray. Um, I just randomized my sims traits. And I just think that's so sweet. I think Bo is a little bit more kind of like artistic. And maybe that's how he sort of channels his sadness or what he channels it into um but yeah i tried to stay kind of true to the sims 2 build and so they've got sort of like this checkered floor and the pink kitchen and the boys have these bunk beds i mean it's a trailer home like it's really small they don't have a lot of space but yeah this is what the baroque home looks like this is such a fun family to play like this is one of the ones where I just really get into what they're doing and, and just I don't know like the Brokes have always been one of my favorites I'd say like I remember even when I was like eight years old and playing The Sims 2 like I just loved I was so fascinated by the Brokes I don't know why so yeah <laughs> uh, let's move to the next family all right, and here we are at the Pleasant House. Um, this is this is the iconic house from The Sims 2. Honestly, I had a blast building this. I did change the inside a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of the the um, floor plan in The Sims 2, so I just decided to sort of play with it and make it my own. So here we have. I think normally. The living room would be sort of this size and then there would be a bedroom. I just, I don't like that. I don't know. For me, the, the living room didn't make any sense. So their house just looks like this. It's very just kind of normal once again. Um, they've got a big kitchen. This is Daniel Pleasant's working out area that he never honestly goes into, but he just insisted on building when they were building this house or renovating it or whatever. You can, you can decide. Did they buy it? It's, a, it's maybe an old house and they bought it and renovated it. I don't know. Um, but here we have the upstairs. So this is Daniel and Mary Sue's bedroom. I honestly, like, it's really simple. There's not that much clutter or anything, but I really like this room. I don't know why. It gets really good light as well. They've got a little ensuite. We've got Lilith's bedroom. Really dark colors. She's a goth. Um, and also her bathroom where everything is darker. And then we've got Angela's bedroom, of course, which is really cute and her ensuite as well. And yeah, I really honestly like this house. It's fun to play in. We've got Daniel Pleasant here. He has just, as I said earlier, left 
Mary Sue for Kalen. So he's feeling sad, which I don't know. I guess he feels sad in the sense that he's like mourning that the marriage has officially come to an end. However, like he wasn't fully committed to Mary Sue for a long, long time. We've got Mary Sue out here, who's honestly feeling fine. I just think she honestly felt like Daniel was dead weight to her political career. He never wanted to support her. So she's like, you know what? I don't care. Like, I'm fine. Leave me, you cheating piece of shit. So <laughs> I actually love that, that she's just like, whatever. And she's just like wanting a promotion and, and wanting to buy stuff. Like, I love that. Honestly, I love Mary Sue. I, I don't know if that's like a thing that other people agree with, but I think she's really an interesting sim. Then we've got Angela. She's really cute. I modeled these sims based off of their kind of like as a combination based on the sims for Angela and Lilith and the sims 2 ones but yeah but yeah her and Lilith don't have a good relationship so we've got Lilith she is hot-headed and mean she is not doing well with like empathy <laughs> matters like honestly like all of her things are really bad Lilith doesn't know that Dirk's gotten together with Cassandra. Dirk hasn't actually broken up with her yet, which is questionable. Yeah, just stay tuned to find out what happens when she finds out. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna be pretty. I do not think it's gonna be pretty. But yeah, that's the Pleasant Household. And let's move on to the next one. So here we are at the Burb house. Again, this is a house that I modeled from The Sims 2 and I actually love this one. I have it on my gallery. It is called 130 Sim Lane. It's on my gallery. My gallery ID is Tawny Plays. Honestly, I love this house and I love this family. I just, I love everything about this. This is like, I think the Burbs are like one of my favorites because I love family gameplay. I love having like a million children. So this is just perfect for me. The floor plan, I kept pretty much the same as in The Sims 2. And yeah, they've got this little kitchen. I think it's so cute. To introduce all of our Sims, we have got John Burb, of course. He's in the law career and he should be at work right now. <laughs> We've got Jennifer. Oh, what a beautiful sim. Honestly, I just, I love Jennifer. Of course, she is Daniel Pleasant's sister. They're on good terms. Um, although, I don't think she will be too happy when she hears that he left Mary Sue for another woman whom with he has a child <laughs> um, that he also hasn't seen in a while. Um, but yeah, then we've got Lucy Burb who honestly is like such a cute sim. I really try to have my teen sims have like sort of two teen stages. So initially when they age up, that's their like kind of like awkward teenage kind of phase. So I give them sort of like funny makeup. Like she has like really heavy eyeliner. She hasn't necessarily like fully plucked her eyebrows she's wearing lip gloss like i just think that's really cute and just something so like that makes them feel like they are genuinely growing in front of your eyes and i don't know it just it feels like it marks the passage of time in the sims sort of or maybe i i just take it too seriously possibly that could also be an option we've got peter he is just such a cutie i absolutely love him he's adorable then they had May. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's upset about something. I don't know why, but she's so cute. <laughs> oh. After they had Peter, I just took Jennifer off any kind of um, birth control or anything. And John and Jennifer just went at it and immediately got pregnant with May. So it was like, oops. <laughs> they wanted more kids. They're both um, really family oriented so they were very happy about it and then finally also as slightly of a whoopsie daisy <laughs> they had anthony 
who is still a little baby, but he's so cute. Um, and yeah, we will see if they end up having any more kids. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I think five would be the most I would make them have, and honestly, they might. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, the family don't have a lot of money, so that's why their house looks so bare. It's because it is. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm, I'm, everything about this family and, and the gameplay and everything, I just, I love it. I love it so much. I just think it's incredibly fun. I don't know. I, I just love the burbs. But yeah, let's move on to the next family. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the goth household um right off the bat i will admit i did not build this house i could never this is too good this is the house that they are living in by Fazlu and simlissi it's like a collab i guess um i just saw this on the gallery and i absolutely fell in love i think this is the kind of house that the goths should be living in i don't know why but i just don't get Victorian vibes from them. Honestly, I get like woods, modern, kind of like earthy tones, but it's also kind of like cold, if you get what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where they live. I obviously renovated a bit to just make it suit the family and what I wanted from the build. So Mortimer here is a freaking dipshit. When we look at his symbology, we can see he has a daughter called Heidi Caliente, who is Dina Caliente's and Mortimer Goth's daughter. Now, none of his family know that he has fathered a daughter <laughs> with somebody else. And I mean, he's not really intending on telling anyone. He is like, I'm going to take this secret to my grave. He does not care for anyone else to know. He sort of sucks, honestly. Um, I know I usually would play Mortimer as kind of like a nice guy at the end of the day, but I don't know, in this, in this save, he is sort of, he doesn't seem to have any remorse for anything that he does to his family, so I don't know. I don't know if he's nice. I don't think he is. And then we've got Bella Goth. Honestly, what a beauty. She is stunning. She, I just feel like this whole dress situation. Honestly, come here, Bella. Let's go here. So, I don't know. I just feel like this whole outfit, everything, I just, I don't know. I think she is absolutely beautiful. And she, I made her an art critic, actually. I think that really suits her. Like, I don't know. I just, I, I like that. I feel like she's a classy, classy bitch, honestly. At, to her core, she is classy. She's a little bit materialistic. She's an insider. She knows everything about everyone. It, something interesting about Bella and Mortimer is that they're both not good at parenting. But honestly, even though they're both slow learning parents, they've raised two wonderful children. So we've got Cassandra. She is honestly a cutie pie she loves music she's very creative artistic she's a little bit gloomy and obviously she is now together with dirk dreamer so we'll see how that ends up going um and then we've got alexander goth who aged up into a teenager he's also just so cute i love alexander goth i think i will pair him up with lucy burb that's such a generic coupling i feel like that's what everybody does but i just think it's cute they really complement one another i think it's i think it's adorable um and yeah i think that's it for this household next i think we'll go to the caliente household Okay, so here we are at the condos in Newcrest. I just think Newcrest is like an extension of Willow Creek. So I treat Willow Creek and Newcrest as almost like the same. I, just, I think they're basically located right next to each other. I think like we're on the... Newcrest is on the outskirts of San Maishuno. So it has this kind of high-rise skyline in the back 
um, but we're kind of like in the suburbs, but then Willow Creek is like the hardcore suburbs. Like that's where you're like an hour away. I think Newcrest is like 20 minutes away from San Mashuna, if that makes sense. I have a thing where I just, I don't like to make my Sims travel <laughs> to worlds that I don't think are like feasibly kind of located in a, within a distance that they could travel in like a cab or whatever. So, um, I don't know if that's crazy, but I really only limit them <laughs> to worlds that sort of make sense for them to travel like within this kind of like little bubble of a world. But anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> so this is Dina and Nina's condo. Um, that's Don Lothario's condo just next to theirs. Um, they're basically the same apart from just a couple of differences. So this is the downstairs. I honestly like it. I think it's very fresh, um, bright, uh, and just, I don't know, I really like it. I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't tell you anything else. I, I really do enjoy it. <laughs> and I like the way it turned out. And then upstairs, we have got this landing area with a chair and a laptop and a desk. I don't know. I didn't really know what to put here. So I just left it um, for now. And then we have got Nina's bedroom. And... Did I say Nina or Dina? We've got Nina's bedroom and Dina's bedroom. I don't know how to freaking talk anymore. <laughs> and then we've, of course, we have Heidi Caliente here, our little baby with Mortimer. Honestly, what a scandal. We will see if Dina can get with him. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I truly don't. Um, <laughs> I don't really, pl I haven't really planned this that much. Like. I sort of want to see what happens and where they end up, um, what they end up deciding and doing. But yeah, I've got this custom career. Um, and even though Dina is not like a working girl, she's very lazy. <laughs> um, she's in this kind of like modeling career. So she's a department store clerk right now because honestly, they do need money. So here we have Nina Caliente. Honestly, I'm really proud of how these Sims turned out. Like they look, in my opinion, really like how they do look in the Sims 2. Not to toot my own horn, but I spent a load of time in Kaz trying to make these Sims. So Nina, uh, she is a nanny and she is in love with Dawn. She Honestly, she knows his trouble. She knows that she doesn't really want to get married. She's non-committal, but she is like, if I'm ever going to, it's going to be to this guy. She knows that Don is also non-committal and only thinks about himself. He doesn't care about anyone else, but she doesn't care. She's in love with him and, and she doesn't know what to do about it. And honestly, we're just going to have to see. Wait and see what happens. I, I do think that if Nina and Don ever end up with anyone, it's gonna be with one another. I, I just, I can't see them ending up with anyone else, to be honest. So yeah, but yeah, I think they would make beautiful babies. So that is them. And next we'll move over here to visit Don Lothario. Who else? <laughs> okay, so here we are at Don Lothario's house. He has a crystal on his roof. That's so random. Anyway, and look who is here. It's Nina. We were just at her house and now she's over here. She is honestly just head over heels with Don. And Loki, I think Don is too. I think Loki Don's a bit like, oh shit, like what's gonna happen? Because he now has a daughter with Kaylin. Um, but I think Don does also think that if he would ever marry someone it would be Nina. I, I would love to see them together. I just I think they would make a cute couple. I don't know. This is Captain. This is Don's German Shepherd. He's so cute. I absolutely love him. He's adorable. And here we have the man himself, Don Lothario. He is actually in the law career. I know he's supposed to be a doctor. I just don't see it personally. I think he would make more sense as like a low-level law person or whatever, 
a law person i don't know what they're called well right now he's like a file clerk <laughs> but i could see him as like a some kind of like administrator or whatever but i don't think he would really do well with the amount of responsibility that you get in like being a doctor i just don't see it for don i think he wants to be in a job that's not too risky like if you mess up it's not life and death but yeah this is his house and upstairs he has his workout equipment a little desk with a laptop his bathroom and his bedroom of course there is a dog bed for captain he absolutely loves this dog i just i don't know i just feel like don lothar is a dog person i don't know if you agree but yeah he also <laughs> does not want a child he has bothered one <laughs> so um maybe he'll have more he just has to deal with it i mean if you're flying without a parachute then you really have to just deal with the consequences and yeah this is don lothario anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you want any more information about what i've done with the sims or what i plan on doing with everyone in this save file let me know um and let me know also if you would like me to keep updating you about what happens in this save file i won't make this into like a full-on let's play but if you would like to receive video um updates about <laughs> what happens in the save file let me know honestly i would love to do that because i love just sharing my gameplay and what i do so yeah let me know and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching bye